Hi guys, this is Rainer with Jimmy Jakes USA and today we're going to get Jimmy wired up. Here we have some vertical jigs. Okay, these are um, 180 Japo. These are the 150 gram um, Rudo series. And we're going to do is we're going to put some wire. And we have three main options in the industry. First, let's start off with the easiest. This is the uh, AFW Surflon. Uh, it's a flexible nylon coated uh, wire uh, cable. Okay, this one is uh, rated in 30 pounds. Okay. And this one is very simple. At least the way we like to tie it off is very simple knots on both ends. Uh, I'm going to start over with this one because it's the fastest and easiest one. So about a foot or so. Cut that right there. Alright. I'm going to start, or well, we like to pair off these um, these cables, our cables, is with our, uh, with this Spro 80 pound power, power swivel. Very sleek, very low profile swivels. And the way we tie this is very simple, okay? We pass it through the eye of the swivel, okay? And we're going to do what's called a figure eight knot. We go over the top, down the, around the back, over the front, okay, again, over the top, around the back, over the front, and into the loop here. Once we have the tag end in the loop, we're going to grab our swivel and a tag and we're going to pull it like this. Yeah. And as crazy as it is, you might think this knot is and simple. This is, uh, this does not slip. These nylon coated cables, we're going to tie that off. And this does not slip. You should end up with a little nut. I'm gonna leave a little tiny piece of tag end on that, and I'm gonna cut it right there. That's what it should look like. Again, we're gonna do the same nut on the other side. Okay. Um, you have two choices. You can either Use a separate split ring that you can add on um, other assist hooks later on, or you can use the split ring that your Jimmy Jigs come with. Go ahead, and I'll pass it through over the back or over the top, around and over. Okay. And again, it's called a figure eight because it looks like an eight, number eight. Pull that. Pull that tightly. And that's it. Go ahead, cut our tag in. And I do suggest that if you do not wear glasses, it is a good idea to wear some safety glasses. Sometimes these pieces of cable start flying around. All right, so that is the simplest and easiest way to put a wire on your jig as far as tying goes. Put down the side. <clears throat> now let's go up to a um, higher quality, higher quality material. This is pretty much one of the best things you can get as far as uh, material wise. This is a uh, Pro Series Titanium Leader wire. You know, it doesn't kink, it stretches, and it, uh, really, it's very flexible, it's very good stuff. The way I like to tie my titanium leader on the, uh, on the jigs, it's, uh, well, you have ver uh, various choices, you know. If you look on the, behind the packaging, it tells you different styles of knots that you can use to tie it onto a 
an, an, another line or your hook or your swivel. But I like to use crimps. I think it's just uh, a lot easier and simpler. And if you do it right, they will hold pretty good. You're not gonna get them to slip or nothing like that. All right, so let me pull up some wire. We'll do about a foot or so. A little bit more than a foot. Cut that. Again, the properties of this uh, cable, if you look, you can bend it, flex this back in place. Okay, there's no kinks and it stretches when it's pulled upon. This one is a uh, 70 pound wire. Okay, we're gonna start with our swivel end again. Grab our swivel. And we use some sleeves. Get a couple of sleeves out. These are thick wall sleeves. You know, these are a little bit more visible, but I like them because uh, they're thicker and they hold up a lot better. Okay, first thing you gotta do is you gotta slip on one of these sleeves. Okay. Then you're gonna put on your swivel. All right. I'm going to put the other end through the sleeve and these are round sleeves, these are not uh, the other figure eight kind of uh, looking sleeves. Alright, in this case I'm going to go ahead and tighten the sleeves pretty close so it's a small loop, something like that, okay. I'm going to use my crimping pliers, sort of uh, small crimping pliers. I'm going to grab the tip, I'm going to bend it back in place and put it back to the sleeve. Slide that. Okay, once you get the tag in on the other end, you're gonna grab it there and you're gonna pull it out. See what this does? It creates another loop on the other side, very small loop. You're gonna try to cinch it down as much as you can. Okay, so if you look now, we have a little larger loop on one side and a very tiny one on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and crimp it down now. The crimper has two sides. It has one with a point and then it has a double um, round side. We're going to use the one with a point twice. Um, towards one end and then towards the other end. Out and not touching all the way towards the end. Go ahead and show you uh, how that looks like in just a second. So, press that tightly. Move a little bit more to the other end. Press on that again. We're gonna grab our diana cutters and we're gonna cut off the excess material here all the way as close as the sleeve you can. Okay, and that's how that should look like. Now, we're going to re repeat the same process. Grab a new sleeve. Grab a jig. Put it through the ring. We're going to put the wire through the sleeve. Okay. I'm gonna slide that down. And in this side, we're just gonna leave a little bit of a larger loop. 
just like that. All right. Again, we're going to grab our tag end. We're going to turn it around and we're going to put it back to the sleeve. Okay, now that we have um, fed the other end back uh, to the sleeve, we're going to grab the tip and we're going to pull it back out. Okay. Actually, that closed on the loop, so we're going to slide it back. And we want, you will want a little bit of a bigger loop again, like I mentioned, because we want to have that flexibility. So the jig, since this wire is so flexible, we want that action to still be within the jig. We're going to grab our crimpers. on that once, slide it, and crimp it again. Rubber cutters, the tag end, and that's that. And that's your how it should look like. Okay. All right, so this is uh, titanium. Again, this is very flexible. It doesn't kick and it stretches. And it's one of our preferred methods of uh, putting wire in the jig if you're not in a hurry. Right. And our last option, we all know very well, it's been around for a very long time. It's the uh, mainland hard wire. This is a stainless steel leader, okay? more economic and it's uh, simple to tie using the haywire twist. You're going to tie some number 5, 43 pound wire. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a piece of wire out. Alright, so we got our piece of uh, mainland wire out. All right, it's a little bit longer than the foot since we're going to be twisting the ends back inside. Um, I like to use this little twister tool, it makes it a lot easier and um, it's pretty simple to use. So, we're going to grab our jig, we're going to feed the wire through, we're going to bend it like so. And we're going to start twisting it. We're going to make sure we're actually twisting and not turning the tag end over the main line, the main wire. Because if not, we're just wrapping the tag end and not twisting. Here, as we can see, we're actually twisting both onto each other. So, about six or seven times is good. Once you do that, you can go ahead and bend that out like so. And I was going to use the tool, but I'll show the tool on the other, on the other uh, side. Once you get to the end of your twist, you're going to put that vertical like that, or perpendicular to the main line. And you're going to start wrapping this line against that line. Just like so. You can do this by hand on uh, thinner wires like this one. It is uh, very simple to do and easy. But on thicker wires, I do recommend the tool. It just makes it a lot easier. Once you get like about good eight or ten wraps, you know, go ahead. You know, bend the wire, bend it the other way and by bending it a couple times back and forth it's gonna break 
Okay, like that. And your haywire twist should look just like that. Okay. Now on the other end, we're gonna attach the swivel. Feed the wire to the swivel. I'm gonna bend it to a little loop here. I'm gonna bend it all the way, just gonna leave a little loop so we can grab onto something there. Okay. The way you use this tool, it's very simple. It has a groove. We're gonna open it. We're gonna put the main line in this and this plastic end facing or the pointed end facing to the uh, to your terminal tackle here in this case is the swivel put in the groove we're going to turn it so it's locked in place it's not going to come out as you can see we're going to grab the tag end and we're going to feed it on the other side so that oh, when it comes out of the other end now grabbing it firmly the tip we're going to start turning it Turn like six or seven times. This end's good. Let that go. Put it like this. Okay, perpendicular. I'm gonna come slide down, and this end is gonna catch, and this is gonna do a twist for you. Okay, and let go of that. And if it's too short, you can actually cut it with your pliers. But again, we like to bend it. And that's it. We got wire. Yeah, turn this to go out. And we have. Uh, stainless wire on your jig. All right, and to end things, uh, once we have the leader, wire leaders, uh, these are three different wire leaders on our jigs, uh, we're gonna add to the hook set, we're gonna add one of these wire, wire assist hooks. These will not get caught off, I can assure you that. Use your stainless steel wire. Come three to a pack. Available from JimmyJigsUSA.com. Again, so it looks like here we're gonna use our uh, split ring pliers. We're gonna attach this to a solid ring. First, gonna open it up like so. Rub a solid ring in the other hand. And attach it like so. Once we get it in there, we can turn it on its side. Grab the splitter ring plier and just help it turn it all the way around. And we have attached a solid wire hook. These hooks still have good action, like you can see, and will not get cut off. And we're done. All right, guys, be sure to check us out on our website at www.jimmyjigsusa.com and also check our Instagram account and our Facebook. See you later.